All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I finally got the Guardian system set up for the Oculus Quest 2, which I have on the ground right now. And uh, I don't know why it wasn't working before, but uh, I wasn't able to do it from the previous from the previous time that I calibrated it. I don't know why. Um, I believe that it has to do a point of reference to to where the uh, cameras can detect uh, different objects. So that's part of the reason why I'm here. And if you can see in the background, there's actually trees um, that I can use as a point of reference so that the Oculus Quest can identify that there's objects uh, within the, the play area space. And uh, full disclosure too, I actually came here last week, uh, last week, excuse me, yesterday. I came here yesterday uh, to try to test it out and um, the battery on one of the controllers actually died. And then on top of that, I was having some issues with with some of the recording so at least today um, hopefully I've resolved all those other issues but this is going to be a good test to be able to see how effective it is to play outside and I can tell you right now the weather is actually pretty decent it's roughly about the, kind of the same amount of wind as yesterday It's relatively cool I want to say somewhere between 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, why don't I just get into it So I'm going to turn the headset on and I'm also going to record and it's asking me to um, create a guardian again. Oh no, okay, it's back. So I'm going to record. Let me just switch this here. So just give me one moment. So I'm going to share, record screen. Um, when your mic is on, your recording will include mic audio. So I'll do that and then start recording. All right, so I'm recording right now in the headset and the tracking just got lost a little bit. And one of the first games that I really want to try right now is actually Blast On. So we're gonna pick that. And I'm gonna possibly have some, some recording with a headset and not with my phone. I just have it propped on the stairs over there. So. Let's keep this in mind that uh, we could be running into some issues, but overall, I really like how it feels to be outside. Um, you can still hear all the ambient noise from the cars passing by and you know maybe some people outside. So I am here in Blast On. I'm just gonna do a duel, looking for opponent. And I have this thing called Skyroam that allows me to have um, Wi-Fi uh, wherever I go. So it's like I'm using this little hub that basically enables me to um, to generate to generate Wi-Fi. So here it is. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, blast on! Oh yeah! Oh, lost tracking. Tracking's still a little bit lost. Oh, good shot. Oh, the track keeps getting lost. Track is lost. Oh. Tracking keeps getting lost. Three, two, one, blast on.
I can tell you right now. I'm going to. I'm gonna skip out of this game. So I can tell you right now with the recording and I think being outside. Uh, tracking is definitely not good for the controllers. And I believe, just uh, while guessing it, but I think the sensors aren't picking up, or at least the headset is not picking up a reference point for kind of the environment that we're in. So unfortunately, unfortunately, um, I don't think that a fast-paced game like Last On is going to be effective to play outside, and that's an unfortunate thing because the game is really fun, and there's some people outside. <clears throat> Next, right there, actually, the control. Um, when I'm recording this, you can actually see that the right controller actually lost a little bit of tracking. So, again. Um, I think if there, if you have like a point of reference, that maybe it's not just a complete open, uh, wide open space, you might not encounter issues in regards to in regards to uh, losing tracking or anything like that. But otherwise, I mean, it works pretty well. And I guess what I got also have to test out is testing this out without without recording the video, and I think that will also impact. The, the performance but there was just too many issues that I was having with last on so now my ranking is a little bit lower unfortunately but uh, as a first test and maybe some people might be out there getting uh, you know space pirate trainer and you guys encountered some some issues uh, these are some of the things that you might be encountering while you're out there again there could be a combination of different variables that could contribute to the headset not working properly when you're outside. Um, I'm gonna do more tests and at some point in the near future test out using um, using uh, Space Pirate Trainer and hopefully that'll give me a better idea about working with a larger space and how that impacts um, things like uh, the sensors and movement uh, as well as uh, tracking uh, which has been uh, an issue actually at this initial stage. Otherwise, I really like it because with the air flowing in the background, and as you can see in kind of this environment, the virtual environment here, this is actually really amazing. And it, you kind of get more of a sense of being in the place, especially especially since you can walk around uh, mostly, um, you know, within the 30 feet range. And that might be something to test out as well, right? But it does feel, it does feel more natural to have the wind kind of blowing and then just having the background that we have here. So otherwise, uh, that's it for this for this portion of the video. I'm gonna shut off the headset. Oh wait a minute, let's cancel that. I'm go going to stop recording. Shut off. Shut off the video. And I'll tell you what, that was a workout. So, these are wood chips here, so that's all I got, guys. Let's see if I can do one flare. You know, I used to be a break dancer back in the day, so let's see.